Welcome to Electrum Online. In this video, we're going to compare the alkanes to the alkenes and then eventually to the alkynes. So what are alkynes? Well, in order to be able to explain that, we want to show all three of them as an example side by side. And to do that, we're going to use the, the compound that has two carbons. So in this case, we have what we call ethane, that is called an alkane. And notice that they all have single bonds, so between all the carbons you'll have a single bond. The general equation of an alkane is that for every n number of carbons you have in the chain, you'll have 2n plus 2 hydrogens in the chain. So in this case, there's two carbons, and therefore there's 2 times 2 plus 2, which is 6 hydrogens. Then when we go to the alkenes, there the ratio is that for every n number of carbons you have twice as many hydrogens. The reason for that is alkenes have a double bond and so now you can see that there's twice as many hydrogens as there's carbons. This is called ethene instead of ethane and notice the, that is the official IUPAC name that's the International Union of... Hmm. Wow, what does it mean again? I'll have to look it up. It's the, it's the official naming convention that they use for these kind of chemicals, but the common name is ethylene. Ethylene is what we call ethane, ethene. And again, it's just what we have here, it's double bond on the carbons, four hydrogens, and notice that this is what we call a colorless, colorless gas. It is a plant hormone that is exu exuded by the fruit when it ripens, which is kind of interesting. And if you then take the hormone, the ethylene, and you, you put, let's say, fruit in a bag and you put ethylene in it, that hormone will help ripen the fruit. So in other words, ripening fruit puts out the ethylene and ethylene causes the other fruit that's not ripe to ripen. So if you don't want the other fruit to ripen, you want to separate ripened fruit from non-ripened fruit. And if you want to, the other fruit to ripen, you want to put them together to help the ripening process. Half of the ethylene that's produced in the world is used for plastics, polyethylene plastic. So there's a lot of that going on in the world. And we produce about 150 million tons of ethylene per year. So it's a very common chemical that we use in production. Now let's go to the alkynes. Well, this is what we're talking about. And for alkynes, we have now a triple bond between the carbons. So if you have at least one triple bond between two carbons, we call it an alkyne. And so therefore, we have the chemical equation C sub n. In other words, for every n number of carbons, you have 2n minus 2 hydrogens. So 2 times 2 is 4, minus 2 gives you the two hydrogens. So alkynes are known to have triple bonds as opposed to alkenes that have double bonds and alkanes that have single bonds. Now again, C2H2, which is ethene, or I should say ethyne, uh, is an older, odorless gas, and it's particularly used in welding. Now we have a common name for ethyne, it's called acetylene, and that's a more commonly used name in industry. And whenever you hear acetylene, you think about acetylene torches. So what they do is they have oxygen uh, and then uh, ethyne, or acetylene, put together, you, you put a flame to that, and that produces a really, really hot flame, one of the hottest flames being able to be produced at a temperature of over 3,300 degrees Celsius or over 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's why it's so ideal for welding. You can cut right through a piece of metal, make it melt from that hot flame. So it's called the oxyacetylene method to use uh, in the welding process. So again, you combine oxygen with acetylene, and again, it produces a really hot flame, and that's what they commonly use. Uh, again, you can see then the comparison between alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. So now that you know what alkynes are, we're going to show you some examples of other kind of uh, compounds that uses either single, double, or triple bonds, and we'll get some more, some more familiarity with it.